Hi viewers, Kaya Kalpa is an ancient system for total body rejuvenation. Kaya means body and Kalpa means to transform. It is an ancient method to get a new body. Kaya Kalpa turns old cells into new ones and reverses the natural aging process. It removes all impurities and toxins inside the body which causes physical degeneration. It helps to open the mind and spirit in order to experience God. Connect with the divine inner peace. There are many methods to do Kaya Kalpa which are invented by Siddhas and ancient sages to get supernatural powers. It is believed to have been first transferred from the god Shiva to his wife Parvati and from her to the Siddhas who practiced Kaya Kalpa to get mystical powers. This authentic Kaya Kalpa is not practiced anywhere today. Kaya Kalpa equalizes energy flow throughout the body. The ancient literature Sharaka Shamkita tells detailed information about Rasayana Kaya Kalpa. The word Rasayana means rejuvenation. There is a plant called Soma in Himalayas. In Vedic times, Soma was a plant given as an offering to the gods. It is called as the nectar of the gods. There was a great spiritual power surrounding the plant. It is believed that the juice of the Soma plant activates pineal gland. The juice of this plant is called Soma Rasa. With the help of the Soma Rasa, one can retain and regain one's youth, strength, stamina and longevity. The ancient literature Shushruta Samhita says that the gods have created Soma to prevent the death and decay of the body. For the practice of Kaya Kalpa treatment, a special chamber is built which has an inner chamber surrounded by seven walls. This special structure is built at a site protected from all climatic conditions and external influences. All the required accessories should be kept ready before the patient is administered the Soma Rasa. Then on a special day at an auspicious hour selected by some combinations and calculations based on the nine planets, the person who has to undergo the treatment should enter the innermost chamber on a special day. The person must cleanse the system completely with purgatives and following specified diet before entering into the chamber. The juice of the Soma plant is extracted using a specially designed needle made up of gold. It is then poured into the gold vessel, then the Soma Rasa is given to the patient. The person who is undergoing the Kaya Kalpa treatment must stay in the innermost chamber for the next 8 days. The person have to follow the duties of truth, non-violence, cleanliness, thoughts of God and detachment to the external world. The diet consists mainly of boiled and cooled milk only. This milk is given to the person at specified time interval. When the Soma Rasa gets digested, the patient starts to vomit. This vomiting continues for about 7 days and all the toxins that have been accumulated inside the body are expelled out. This elimination of wasters takes place in the form of worms, blood, stools, mucus, etc. Thus, the body is completely purified. At the end of 7th day, the patient completely loses his weight and becomes lean. The skin looks dried and cracked. Hair, teeth and the nails begins to fall. On the 8th day, the patient is bathed with milk and then sandal paste is applied all over the body. Then the patient is moved to the second chamber for the next 10 days. The diet is gradually changed. From then on, new teeth will be formed. It looks hard and strong as like diamonds. Muscles of the body shows vigorous growth. Fixed, beautiful and coral colored nails begins to grow. Long, shiny and thick hair begins to grow. The cracked old skin is replaced by new healthy skin. The patient is restricted to see himself in the mirror till the end of the treatment. After the entire treatment, the patient is allowed to resume normal life gradually. 
after the rasayana kaya kalpa treatment one can now enjoy a new and youthful body such a person's body is protected against fire water and climatic changes also weapons poisons doesn't able to kill that person such a person gets entire knowledge about space god etc the third eye gets open after the kayakalpa treatment the shushruta samhita also says that the soma plant is invisible to bad persons it is only visible to persons who are having kindness and good character now many people are doing researches to identify the soma plant but till now the correct soma plant left undiscovered thank you for watching this video to watch more videos subscribe to our channel